Hey there, let's uh, check out evaluating some trig functions determined by a point in Q1. Q1, first quarter? Uh, quadrant. Oh. That's what we're talking about here, actually. We're talking about maybe money. No, we're talking about quadrants. Uh, Q1 is quadrant one. So theta is the acute angle in standard position whose terminal side contains the point four six. Find the six trig functions of theta. Let's draw ourselves like a little picture. You know, I'm just going to give a good rule of thumb here, I think. Always draw a picture. Especially uh, with trig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if you don't draw the trig picture, life will be just brutal hard. And don't draw the picture in your brain either. Like, actually put it on paper so like that you can organize everything. put it on your paper. I, I would say that this is the point four six. Okay, so notice I went I went out approximately 4 and I went up approximately 6. And so we talked in 4.2 about how we draw the angle going down. We draw mm -hmm. the triangle so mm -hmm. it goes down and meets the x-axis. Right. Makes this a, a right angle. Right. And since x is our this way, then that means left that... Left and right. Yeah, left and right. Yes, left and right. That's 4 and up and down would be 6. And we get those numbers from this point because we had to go 4 out and 6 up. Brilliant. So we probably, since we need to find all six, we should probably find the hypotenuse. We're going to need that. So what is that called when we when we do that? What is it? Finding so the hypotenuse? Yeah, what is that it's called? It's called finding the hypotenuse. <sighs> you are so helpful. Pythagorean theorem. Oh, that yeah. dead guy theorem. 16 plus 36 gives us 52. I believe so. Equals C squared. Square root both sides. Now, don't square root both sides on your calculator either with these things. If no, you're asked to simplify. find all the trig functions, then you're going to simplify the square root of 52. Any answer given on something like this with decimal is not correct. Right. Right. We want, we want exact values, which means square roots or fractions or both. Square root of 52. If you're trying to simplify this, I know it's divisible by 2. Right. And so I'm pretty sure it's divisible by 4. So what you should do is take 52 in your calculator, divide it by 4, and you get 13. I think so. So this is... You could also do 52 four, divided 13. by 2 and then divide it by 2 again. Right, right. You could do that as well. And basically, we can take the square root of 4, so we do. So that's 2. And we can't uh, with 13. So square root of 52 is 2 square roots of 13. That goes that's on this hypotenuse. side. Now we can find all six of our trig functions... So sine, and no, oh, oh, super important oh. now where that theta goes though. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay. Like it has to be down there between yeah. the hypotenuse the and theta. the x-axis. Yeah. We can't just right pick there. a theta anymore like no. we did early on, right? Yeah. Yeah. This has to be. It's got to be right, right there. It has to be, okay. or it's incorrect. Okay. So, and that tells us opposite over hypotenuse is six over two square roots of thirteen. And uh, we can leave it like that. We yeah. don't have to rationalize. If you do rationalize, keep in mind you only have to times by the square root. You don't have to times by that two as well. And if you do, if you do times by the two, that's fine. You'll just end up having to simplify. Well, and two reduces with six as well, so that just makes it three. Oh, well, I should have done that. You, in the you first could do place. that too. I should I mean, have probably. But you didn't, and that's okay. Like, wait, wait. Okay, there was no need to do that. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, I just I wanted to. Okay. So this is 3 square roots of 13. If you're not rationalizing, that's your answer. Right. If you are rationalizing, it's square uh, 3 square roots of 13 over 13. There you go. Okay. Bingo, bingo, bongo. And let's keep going. Okay. Cosine is going to be the adjacent side then, which is the x-coordinate over the hypotenuse. 4 over 2 square roots of 13. 4 and 2 also reduce. They do. They do. 2 over the square root of 13. And you should be able to reduce those. Like, you need to be able to reduce yeah, form two. Like, you should is a catch good that. Call. Good call. Because sometimes it's really helpful to reduce. Especially in the long haul, yeah. Yeah. Tangent, six over four. Yes. Which is three halves. Right. Uh, even if you do rationalize, we're recording right now. Oh, What's it's up? okay. It's okay. Well, there's like fewer days between Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I thought I'm just going to start early this year. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not playing the music yet, just okay. just the lights. Just Elton John. Okay, yeah, just Elton John. Okay, sorry, it was Coach Offset. Um, remember, cosecant and sine go together. We flip, and this is the place where we should flip. Because flip, yeah, flip from the, the unrationalized the, part. The, the simplified yes. unrationalized yes. part. That's the easiest place to flip from. Are you going to have to re-rationalize, and that's no good. No, that's a terrible, terrible thing to have to do yeah. on a daily basis. The only thing worse than rationalizing is re-rationalizing. 
Because then you're re-rationing what you rationalized. Exactly. And then it's a mess. Exactly. Okay, and here, like, let's uh, flip this one. This two-thirds. This is two-thirds. So, there you go. There you go. Six-trick functions.